Hi, I'm going to show you today how to do repoussé. Repoussé is a French word for working with metal in a, it's basically tooling metal. In Spanish is called repujado. Actually in English we call it repoussé. That's a French word. I'm going to show you what this looks like after being worked. Um, this is the copper side. We have all these different textures on here. Repoussé is really all about textures. Um, the metal foil that I'm using is very thin, so it's easy to work with. So what I'm going to do first is I have um, newspaper down because I want something soft to work on. I don't want to just work on the hard table. So um, I have an aluminum, aluminum side and I have a copper side. You can, um, Tooling foil comes in all kinds of different colors. You can get it in different colors from any art supply catalog or warehouse. So first thing I'm going to do to do the project that we're going to do today is I'm going to make four lines. So I'm going to make two curved lines, make some lines going across, kind of like I'm making a tic-tac-toe board, only I'm making them curved. So I'm going to do different textures in each one of these. So I'm going to start just doing some something simple, spirals, different sizes. They can go out of the space. Kind of like that. And then say here, I might want to do rectangles, perhaps squares. And I'm going to put some lines inside these. Here, I'm actually going to make some bubbles, so I'm going to switch my tools from the stylus that I have. I have three different tools here. I have one that is has a round tip, has another round tip, but I'm going to be using this one to make the bubbles. I have a wood, another wooden tool that's just basically like a sharpened dowel, and this one is plastic, and it has a pointy tip on one side, and it has a flattening tip on the other side. But I'm going to use now my round one to make a bubble. So I'll do that here. And I'm going to make a few bubbles. So I'm just simply making some circles. If you want to make them bigger, start small and go big. And interesting thing about this, I think, is looking at the other side when you're done. So now, I'm going to do some more tools. I'll use my smaller stylus, wooden stylus. And I'm just making some small, short lines, which makes an interesting pattern, I think, on both sides. Now, I'm going to make some curvy lines. And you could do this in any sections. You don't have to do the tic-tac-toe thing. You could do three lines. You could make it triangles. You could do it however you wanted. Um, Repoussé can be, you could do an animal. And go ahead and make some lines going this way. And inside of them, I'm going to do some dots. Every other line. you wanted to plan this out beforehand, it kind of helps, but I'm just kind of winging it right now. Here, do some triangles. And I'm going to put some triangles inside the triangles. 
I'm not really trying to make a picture of anything, but you could. You could do a cat, dog, horse, whatever. This is a very old art form. We have repoussé in Europe and Asia. Probably one of the more famous ones in the United States is the Statue of Liberty is actually made out of repoussé. Very thick, big pieces and parts, but parts all put together. But still, same idea. And here, enjoying that texture. And here I think I'm going to do some more bubbles, only I'm going to make them very big. bigger. Using my round tip, not pressing so hard that I cut through my tooling foil. And there you go. And pick either side to display. Repoussé. Right